What's up, you guys? My name is uh, Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can uh, smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, a collective reading. Cups beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got a couple channelings in, so I'm going, going to go and share them. Um, it sounds... Um, According to the messages, it's saying, I don't know, it's, I didn't hear specifically where in the world, but it um, sounds like it's upcoming. It sounds like it has not happened yet. Um, so I didn't want to wait on these. You know, sometimes I write them down. A lot of times I, I just come on here and get them out. But sometimes, like, especially if I'm out or I'm not, you know, I'm out doing something or busy or what have you, I'll, I'll, I'll write them down. But I'm getting them out because it sounds like it's upcoming and it sounds like it's big. So. I'm going to go and do it. It's a free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Free general reading. So just let you know. Okay, so the channel I received was, um, there was a couple of them, but the first one I heard, a very significant red sky is about to become very, very significant in certain parts of the world soon. It's going to scare some people, and some they're going to know it's an omen. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a significant red sky heard in some parts of the world soon. So the world, so, you know, we're not talking, I didn't hear a specific location, some parts of the world. So, you know, the world's a very big place. I mean, it could be the United States, it could be China, it could be Canada, it could be Mexico. It, um, it could be wherever it is, but significant parts of the world, a red sky. So... Um, um, I heard some people are going to be very scared when they see this and some are going to um, know it's an omen. Now, I didn't hear what they know it's going to be an omen for. I would love to know what they're going to uh, know it's going to be an omen for. I didn't hear that part. Um, <clears throat> but some kind of red sky energy. It doesn't sound like it's going to be everywhere. I'll tell you that. It does not sound like it's going to be everywhere. Certain parts of the world. So, um, you have to plug it in where it resonates. Um, I know a lot of my um, channeling, sometimes I channel in the United States. I just do. This is not United States energy. So I know a lot of you guys are in Canada, UK, um, Australia, et cetera, et cetera. So, if this resonates with you, I would love to know if this does. Uh, you're welcome to text or email me. I know my comments are turned off, but I've explained why they're turned off. Um, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. I would love to know what the omen means. I would love to know what, why, whoever it, you know this red sky is coming. Um, you obviously have more knowledge on this than I do. I would love to know. You don't have to tell me, but if you know there's a red sky coming and you know what it's open to mean, I would love if you shared that information with me, sir or ma'am. If, if somebody is watching this and um, you know, I'm just saying, because I would love to know. Um, and that was the first one. And the second one I heard um, um, a very significant um, racial riot is about to break out soon. It's going to be all over the news and very, very, very um, public. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So a very significant racial riot. Now racial, it, that's I'm assuming one race against another race, very angry. It could be any race. There's many different races, ethnicities, cultures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But some kind of racial riot energy. It sounds like upcoming in the universe. It's going to be very, very significant. It sounds like it's going to be big and it's going to be angry. And I heard it's going to be very um, publicized. And like, it sounds like it's going to be on the news. It sounds like it might be on the national news, possibly. Um, I didn't hear specifically national news energy, but I feel it might, it might could be. Um, you all remember when the um, Joy, uh, what was his name? Um, was it George Floyd or the I Can't Breathe guy um, with the police? Um, well, rest in peace, his name. I can't remember his name. I apologize. I think it was George, George something. Um, the way he passed away was terrible. I just want to say terrible. That was terrible. Um, but I was picking him up in my readings. Um, if y'all remember, I was picking him up. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And then all of a sudden, boom, 
like I think it was a week or two later. It was all plastered all over the freaking news. Um, um, and he shouldn't have passed away the way he did. He shouldn't have. They shouldn't have had it on his neck. Shouldn't have. Period. But um, anyways, um, <clears throat> but some kind of racial riot energy. Um, it's one race against another race. Um, like I said, there's a million different races. So, however that resonates, but it's going to be huge and big and angry and <clears throat> sounds like all over, all over. It sounds like it's going to be televised. And I mean, it sounds like it's going to be national, like global, possibly. I didn't hear that. That's just my in, um, intuition, logic, and reasoning on that. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, I'm going to pull one moon, moon cycle. Maybe I get some more messages on this. But these are huge. These two are huge. And y'all remember last year, it was about, um, I've been doing my channel since March of 2020. I think it was like in, um, you'll have to go back and check the readings. But I think it was like in um, September of last year or October of last year, I heard the, um, I heard um, significant weather pattern, weather pattern, oh, I can't speak, weather patterns were coming up, um, dust cloud, huge prominent dust cloud, and then all of a sudden, like a week or two later, on the, I was at work actually, looking um, at a patient's TV, dust cloud coming in to the northeast, I mean to the southeast, United States. I was like, what the crap, man? I mean, so, so you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, I know I've been getting prophecies for a while. Uh, sometimes I pick up current energy. Sometimes I pick up prophetic energy. It really all depends. Now, these days I've been picking up more um, prophetic energy. So, you know, future energy um, these days. Um, it was more of a mix back then. It's kind of energy shifted in my energetic readings recently. It's more prophetic now and some huge, um, current energy, like the psychotic killer clown. That's current energy. He's still out on the loose. Um, but you have to plug it in how that resonates. That is crazy. So some kind of red sky energy upcoming, it sounds like, and some kind of huge racial riot energy coming up soon. I think that's going to be all, the, all over the news. And I'm serious about that. Release, reverse, beauty, reverse. A particular prophecy is about to come true very soon. Some for a particular person, some for a particular family, some globally. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is so strong. I heard a particular prophecy is about to become true. Some for a particular person, some for a particular family, some globally. So some kind of global prophetic energy, I'm thinking that might be the red sky energy or the huge racial riot um, or two plus possibly. Um, but some is a person's, um, their own, um, they're divinely guided to do something or be a part of something or be caught or what have you. But their destiny sounds like it's about to come true whether it's positive or negative for a person. A family's destiny is about to come true, positive or negative for the family. And some kind of global prophetic energy, positive or negative, is about to come true. I think the global energy might be the red sky energy with the omen. Some of you guys know this omen's coming. Please, please contact me and let me know. I want to know. I mean, I have no, I don't know about that. I would love to know. So, I mean, one of you guys has knowledge out there about this, though. Uh, maybe you've gotten a spiritual download, and you know. All, I, all of the spiritual download I got was about the red sky and the omen. Um, one of you guys know it's, know it's an omen. So, I think you watch my videos, um, is what I'm saying. And you know. But 
I would love if you shared that information with me. You do not have to, but I would love to know because that's all I got. And if you get true spiritual downloads, which I feel you do, you know it's coming and you know it's for real, for real. But I'll, that's all I got from the spiritual realm. So maybe we're meant to connect, possibly, or if you don't connect with me. But I would love to know is what I'm trying to say. Release, reverse, beauty, reverse. Someone's such control issues of the past is about to backfire on them. Some, a huge political organization. Roman Catholicism for some. Some, a very angry, dominant, wants to be dominant, feminine energy of a family situation. Oh, my goodness. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God. Some kind of very, very controlling S-type energy here. Some, um, I heard it's um, somebody or some people, it sounds like in a group in Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism. So, like Roman Catholic um, religion. Um, and I heard that specifically. Roman Catholicism. So, um, I think popes. I think bishops. I think... Um, Things of that nature with Roman Catholicism. Um, I feel it's several very, very high people. They're trying to control something or someone or a group. Um, I feel this is very high level, whoever this is for. It's very, I think we're talking about like the Pope or the Cardinals or the Bishop, like the people like up there in, um, up right now, up there, like, you see in the pointy hats and out on the TV, possibly. And I'm serious about that because um, Roman Catholicism is the uh, Roman Catholic religion. Um, popes, bishops, cardinals. But this is high levels. I mean, high level stuff. This, this is high level. I heard they were trying to control. I don't think this is like a little local religious organization is what I'm saying. This is some big, big mama, big daddy stuff. Um, but I heard they were trying to control something in a huge way, basically. But it, um, it's about to basically crumble and backfire is what I'm presuming here. Um, we have release, reverse, beauty, reverse. So they wouldn't release something, this Roman Catholicism religious organization or people in this religious, religious organization that is part of Roman Catholicism, I'm pre uh, presuming. They would not release control. A person, people, place, family, situation, organization. Maybe they were trying to suck beauty from this situation, or they were trying to suck life force from this situation, or they were trying to perform some kind of rituals or something, because um, we have beauty reverse. Think they were trying to make themselves go up and make others go down. Maybe I'm thinking this might be energy harvesting. And I'm serious. I didn't hear this. That's just my presumptive logic, reasoning, and guessment. I think it might be energy harvesting. And I'm serious. They will not release control because of some kind of energy harvesting. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. But th that's my presumptive logic and guesstimate on the Roman Catholicism message. Holy crap. This is, whoo. All right, let me pull an energy card. I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. For some, it's a fem energy is about to backfire on. For some, it's the Roman Catholic Church, I'm feeling. The freaking Roman Catholic Church with like the Pope. The Pope, you guys, with the pointy hat, the Pope. Oh my God. Um, I wonder if that's where the huge riots are going to um break out. I think they're located in Venice, Italy, I think. Hold on. Uh, let me confirm this, but I think that's where they're located. Um, I think. Wow, this is, whoa. The Vatican Palace. 
The Holy See is the name given to the government of the Roman Catholic Church, which is led by the Pope as the Bishop of Rome. So in Rome. Okay. So in Rome. I think this is in the... I wonder if the riot's going to be in Rome about the... Um, about the Roman Catholic Church um, or something to do with the Roman Catholic, something to do in um, Rome or the uh, Vatican or something of that nature. Um, yeah, in Rome, Italy. I wonder if this riot's going to be in um, Rome, in Italy. Wow. And Oh, I wonder if the red sky is going to be over there in Rome, Italy. People start knowing it's an omen. They start rioting the freaking Vatican. Um, I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning with these messages. Because the I feel the, um, oh my God, this is so deep. I think somebody in the Vatican, whether it's the Pope, the bishop, the cardinals, whoever. I mean, I don't know the hierarchy up in there. Um, but somebody up in there is trying to control something. In there. Now, I heard one specific Fem Energy is trying to control something too. but And it's about to backfire on her in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge. There's about to be a huge riot with her too. Lock up for mental instability. Oh my God. Whoa. Okay. I heard um, there's about to be a huge riot with her too. The Femme Energy. Lock up for mental instability. So there's a Femme Energy out there that's done something that to try to control person, people, place, or situation. There was no beauty in the situation because we have beauty reversed. People did not think it was beautiful or it was grand or it was wonderful. Um, she can try to control some something, person, people, place, family, situation, organization, etc. so badly that basically it is about to backfire on her in a huge way. I heard there's about to be a huge riot. Basically rioting to lock her up for mental instability. So like um, waging, not waging war or nothing, but like, like, Peaceful protest energy is what I'm feeling here. Hopefully it's peaceful. Hopefully it's peaceful. You can protest and not be peaceful. I didn't hear peaceful. I didn't even hear protest. But I'm feeling it's some kind of, well, I did hear protest. Um, it's going to be some kind of protest energy, whether it's peaceful or not, is what I'm trying to say. Peaceful or not, I don't feel it's going to be peaceful for some of these. Well, it's one femme energy in the universe. This is going to be big too, whoever this is. Um, but she's done something. And it's going to, pro. Um, there's going to be some kind of protest energy to lock her up for mental instability. Hopefully this is peaceful is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's protests that are peaceful and not peaceful. So um, hopefully it is a peaceful protest is what I'm trying to say. But she's done something that has just um, been horrible. But so we have her, right? We're jumping back and forth. And we have the Roman Catholic freaking church in Venice, Italy. I mean, not Venice, Italy. I'm sorry. Um, Rome, Italy. In Rome, freaking Italy. The freaking Vatican. Just saying, just saying. And they're trying to control something hugely, but it's about to backfire on them. And there's about to be, um, I wonder if the red sky energy is going to be over there at the Vatican is what I'm trying to say. Or maybe the red sky energy is going to be seen by the people that know um, this fem energy is trying to control a situation so badly. And they see the red sky and they know it's an omen and they start protesting against her ass is what I'm feeling, possibly. Um, I feel it could go either for the Vatican um, energy or this femme energy, lock her up for mental instability energy because she is trying to control something so badly. I feel it could go for both. Maybe both of the, because I heard the red sky is going to be in certain parts of the world. So it's going to be seen to certain people. Um for reasons is what I'm feeling. Certain groups and areas of people and cultures of people and areas and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, for reasons. I feel it might be for the people with this femme energy and it might be for the Vatican and it might be for both. Somehow, I wonder if these two were connected. This femme energy and this Vatican energy are, are connected. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. A Scorpio 
is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Okay, I heard a Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. Uh, whoever you are, Scorpio. Well, I know our president, our current president of the United States of America is a Scorpio. I'm pretty sure. Biden, isn't he a Scorpio? I wonder if there were. I didn't hear our president was getting a huge wake-up call, but her Scorpio was. It could be any Scorpio in the universe. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, or Jupiter charts. Let me look up. I think Joe Biden is Scorpio. Scorpio, he's a Scorpio. Joe Biden is a Scorpio. Oh, I don't, I don't know if our president's getting a wake up call. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. It could be our president getting a huge wake up call about this. Uh, one, or if, one, if you watch my video, sir, I didn't vote for you, and I never would for, vote for you. I just wouldn't, just to be honest. But um, regardless of whether I voted for you or not, um. Hopefully you can get a wake-up call about this because there's it sounds like there's going to be at least two huge riots in the world. One of them might be in the United States. One, I feel, is definitely going to be in Rome, Italy. Some kind of Vatican energy, possibly. I'm serious about that. Oh, my Lord. But whoever you are, whether you're the president of the freaking United States, Scorpio, or you or somebody else, Scorpio, masculine or feminine, somebody's getting a huge wake-up call about this spirit messages you have reflected there's millions of billions of people in the universe so you have to plug it in how it resonates holy man healer of the ages reversed i think the vatican's been doing some chasty crap and they might have been doing it with this fem energy i'm um, trying to control person people place situation organization some kind of um behind the scenes crap and you know the Roman Catholic Church, i.e. Um, the Vatican, Pope, and bishops and cardinals, all those people up in the biatch, not all of them, but they have a history of little boy energy is what I'm trying to say. They don't have a good name and a good reputation already. So um, I'm not saying that's what's going on. I didn't hear little boy energy in here. But we all know they have a history of that. So they already don't have a good reputation, and now they're doing something so, so shicey behind the, the scenes, and they got healer of the ages reversed. Obviously, yes, healer of the ages reversed. You're not very healing. I don't care how much money and power you think you have wearing a big pointy hat. And going around in freaking Rome, Italy, or wherever the hell you're going, um, when you're, uh, you condone molesting, uh, molestation of children, especially little boys. Just saying. So, healer of the ages reversed. Um, I feel the Vatican's not very healing. The Roman Catholicism religion, I feel people are going to feel they're not very healing soon. And I feel that might be where one of the riots is about to break out. And then there's about to be a riot about to break out with a particular very controlling femme energy. Um, somewhere in the world in some kind of red sky energy. Let me see if I hear anything else. Wow. Good God. This is not where I thought it was going to go. Huge, huge, huge events happening with this soon. Huge. Okay, I heard huge, huge, huge events happening with this soon. Huge. So huge. It sounds like world events about to happen, you guys. Man. 20, 27, or 51 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 20, 27, or 51. Those could be significant ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possibly. It could be a possible date of birth number, lottery number, um, Social security card number, um, um, green card number, um, jersey number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 20, 27, 51. We're done. Let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. Holy freaking amen. This was a reading. Holy goodness. I think I might title it World World Events, possibly, um, coming. Because um, these are big. There's a, 
I feel at least in Rome, Italy, with the Vatican, Roman Catholicism religion, um, and then somewhere else in the world. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages or want to hear these spiritual messages, please share my videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.